Hello angels, welcome back. Happy New Year's Eve. Um, so today what we're going to be doing is what is the overall energy going to be for you and your person in 2021 and we are going to do the two decks but first and foremost as I promised you let's do the competition to win these beauties. So what I have done is I've gone through the whole of YouTube, I've got my laptop right in front of me, put all your names, everyone that commented um, in the name picker and all I've got to do now is pick a random name, click the button where it says pick a random name and see who comes up and this is going to be the winner. So ready? Three, two, one. Uh, Katerina Saunders. Katerina Saunders, these are yours. So if you can drop me a email uh, to mysticlovetarot at gmail.com what I will try and do uh, is go through the YouTube video, find where you wrote on the comments, um, and then we'll get in touch and we will get this shipped off to you. Probably won't be, well, it's, it's New Year's Eve now, so probably the start of next week, I will get this shipped over to you wherever in the world you are. Well done, everyone, for entering. Um, as always, I want to thank you all for your love and support in 2020. Um, my second year of running YouTube, uh, it's been a phenomenal experience. So without you all I wouldn't be where I am today so I want to give you all my big love thanks and support for that um and Katerina Saunders drop me a text uh text drop me an email get in touch with me um and we will get this beautiful deck shipped off to you okay guys on with the reading Okay, so 2021, what does it have in store for you and your person? Now, due to the competition, I figured we'd use the Mystical Dream Tarot for deck number one and the Silver Witchcraft Tarot for deck number two. The imagery on this is absolutely beautiful as well. It's one of my favourite decks. Um, so deck number one and deck number two, what is going to happen with you and your person in 2021? So as you know, how we work, and I always say we for me and my guys, is it is the strongest neutral energy between you all, going to all your energies, going to all your people's energy and pull out the strongest energy like how you did the maths at school when you had to do a, an average it's how I work with collectives okay debt number one so let's do this let's do this mystical green tarot so think about your person everyone that chose debt number one for me hope you all had a really good Christmas as well mine was really nice uh, the laws kind of changed it or the rules changed in England and we, we managed to go and see uh, my parents for the one day we, we got we got back at like uh, two o'clock in the morning we left at about midnight um, so it was a very it was a very hectic day my parents live quite far away so we had to get up really early travel down and then travel back but your person's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes and let's do all possibilities probabilities choices chances and changes of 2021 let's hope for a better year for everyone this year this year as of tomorrow okay so my guy is saying we want nine cards. Now they're talking about spirit are muttering in my ear and they are talking about roads. Okay, so at the moment you might have been feeling that you and your person have been at a bit of a roadblock. Now what they're saying and what they're showing me is this roadblock is being lifted as 2021 progresses and happens. What is going to happen with them and their person is 2021. And I'm hearing all sorts of songs about the road. There is a song and I cannot remember who sings it, but I can hear it. Um, and she talks about um, when it's... Oh crap, who... who it, I can hear it. I can hear the tune, but I can't pick... I uh, can't remember it. Um, she said she's talking about when she's driving and it's been really crap day and you look outside and everything is, you know, you can listen to your favourite song and you feel better about everything. It's either called The Journey or The Road or uh, something along those lines. I can't remember it, who it is. What is going to happen next between them and their person in 2021? But it's spinning around my right ear and it will do until uh, until I can place what the song is. Four, five, four, five, six, four, five, six. I'm so bad at math. Seven, eight, and one more for nine. That is the one. Okay. Do, 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 do. 
Right, 2021 for you and your person. It has been a bit of an uproar. 2020 has been quite a difficult year for you guys. And you've very much been kind of coming to ends of cycles and beginnings of new ones. Some of you guys might have decided to step away from the connection. Look how beautiful they are. Or... Um, you might feel that they've let you down, that you've struggled with it. There's been a few, again, roadblocks coming up in the way of the connection with you and your person. Now, on occasions, you might have felt with the bull over here that everything was kind of charging ahead. There was a lot of tension, a lot of aggravation between you guys. Um, but it does feel at this moment in time that the emotions around you guys are really settling. Now, there's a really big uh, draw over here. I'm being really drawn to the energy in this, in, in that spirit are looking after you, spirit are watching over you. Um, and even though it has kind of been this full bulls charging for one another, a bit of conflict, a bit of tension, the reason why this has had to happen is for these roadblocks to kind of dismantle around you. So there's been a few heavy hurdles in the way and now those hurdles are starting to clear. There has been a bit of indecision or there is about to be a bit of indecision over the situation. Um, even though these roadblocks are clearing, there's still this kind of little bit of backwards and forwards, uh, giving you a little bit, taking you, taking it away a little bit. There is that confusion coming over from them and it is coming through their communication spirit of sign so you might find that they're communicating with you a little bit here a little bit there ghosting coming back anything along those lines as they make this indecision over the situation but a lot of the roadblocks that have been getting in you and your person's way are starting to clear they have been thinking about you they have been thinking about the situation and even though they've been feeling a little bit stuck over it um this has had to happen in time for the, the connection between you both to nurture OK, so what Spirit is saying with that is when we're talking about the roadblocks that are potentially in your guy's way, um, it's had to have this period of gestation between the two of you. So if you went and you got pregnant tomorrow, your baby isn't going to come the day after you have that nine month period of gestation. And this is essentially what is happening with your relationship with your person, that you're going through this period of gestation where things are growing, things are developing, things are being nurtured. Um, your person still has their walls up, they still have their guard up, but the, the relationship, the connection between the two of you is being nurtured at this moment in time. And with spirits standing strongly in the background of this energy, you are being guided, divinely guided in the right direction. OK, so there is progression routes within this. Any kind of these blocks that has been holding you guys backwards are going to start moving forward. And this is what 2021 is largely going to start with. For you guys so clearing the roadblocks um, and seeing the light seeing the pathway you guys are standing more in your power than you have done for quite some time you're feeling a lot stronger about the uh, connection about you and yourself you've really spent the time last year with these this kind of gestation period building yourself up working on yourself working with divine energies and really seeing the future you've been being guided by spirit they've been showing you the light they've been showing you the way and now you are on the right pathway to following it um spirit is saying all roads lead to the same destination so if you are worried that you've gone down a different pathway and it's not the one you should have gone down you will still end up exactly where you need to be in the right timing that is what they are saying um i've also gotten through this i've just got through uh through the glass by stone sour looking at you through the glass don't know how much time has passed all i know is that it feels like forever okay so if you guys are not in contact your person as the year well as things progress is going to start really struggling with the situation really looking towards you wanting to reach out to you wanting to communicate that's for you guys that aren't in contact for those of you that are in contact they're going to see what's right in front of their face or that has been all the way along and start doing something about it and the reason for that is because the more you are standing in your power the more direction this is going to give to them over you again very strong divine connection coming forward here very strong energy um, of the more higher vibrational connections. So it could be twin flames, could be soulmates, could be higher vibrational soulmates. Uh, definitely kind of stepping away from any karmic energies with debt number one. Okay, so any karma that you guys might have had really started to clear up last year. It's just those final little blocks that are stuck, you know, in the way. We've got communication kind of coming forward through the internet. Internet is being brought into this. So it might not be all of you, uh, but internet energy coming forward could be WhatsApp, could be Messenger, could be Facebook, could be Instagram. Communication coming forward. Also watching uh, each other's social me media happening here. Again, they're seeing you in a very different position from how they saw you previously. They're seeing you in a much stronger standpoint and you're really out of this kind of 
don't take this the wrong way, but out of that needy energy into a more nurturing energy. And that nurturing energy is more about you. It's about you and what you guys are doing with your lives. And that is really pulling them towards you. They're seeing you as a, a lot more balanced because you've decided, well, because you've worked really hard to step into this power. So the energy is a lot more balanced with you and them. And that is going to make them want you more. Uh, there is a little bit of jealousy coming up on their part as well. Um, they're a little bit worried that, you know, they made a big effort, that they might have lost you for good. Again, watching what you are up to. Look at the eyes in the background. Seeing that they can have a future with you. Um, feeling conflicted over it a little bit. Again, these roadblocks in the way, they're a little bit like, can we get past these roadblocks? Is this going to work out between us? How do I go about this? Um, the jealousy comes from looking at you on the internet, seeing that, oh, whichever way they are checking in on you um, watching what you're up to seeing what's going on and that kind of jealousy comes from that they're like oh what are they doing what's going on are they seeing someone or have they moved on have they stepped away from me what's actually happening and also that spirit are saying um i just got two two songs i got you are beautiful no matter what they say and then i got the other one which is you don't know you're beautiful uh, so two songs about beauty coming for a very kind of earthly, intrinsically placed uh, with those songs. But that is your person's feelings. OK, so seeing you as a very beautiful energy, seeing how you've grown, developed. And they don't just mean physically. They don't just mean aesthetically. Spirit is saying they mean on an energetic level as well. So really strong pull towards your beauty um, inside and out. So as the year progresses, we have Ace of Wands and we have the Chariot as well. So this is looking really positive for you guys heading in the right direction. Much more kind of passionate new beginnings happening between the two of you. Longer term objectives between you both um, actually starting to be met. Up until this point, it's been a bit backwards and forwards. Again, it's talking about those roadblocks. But now it's time for things to really start to unfill. Try not to control it, Spirit is saying, because a lot of the time when we come to manifestations and what we want, we try really hard to hold on tight to it when really we need to release it um, and let it go. And I'm not saying move on or anything like that, but did you ever want something really, really badly and then you were really concentrated on it? And then when you thought, right, you know what, it's not happening, I'm going to let it go. You did that and then it suddenly came towards you. Well, that's the energy coming up here, okay? It's only in letting go that we surrender to the universe. And when we surrender, we create space so the universe can bring it to us so the more you surrender the outcome of this situation the more your person is going to make moves towards you with your longer term objectives coming towards you okay so really positive that you guys can work towards what it is that you want we need to get you to overcome the roadblocks in the way that is going to take time and um, that is going to take the ice melting spirit to show me an iceberg I'm putting a, a lighter to the iceberg the ice is going to melt um, but when that iceberg melts this is when this can really, these, these roadblocks will get clear. It's going to get cleared up. Again, let, let the universe lead the way. Let the universe guide you. Um, lots of beautiful things happening in 2021 for you guys. There's a much more strong feeling of peace that you guys are feeling. We're a lot more at peace and you're feeling a lot more um, aware of the connection, aware of the situation. And you are at peace with that. And even though you're still going to be up and down because of the emotions you have for your person, you really are kind of taking that step back, trusting in yourself, trusting in the divine. And through that, you have this really strong movement. And it's a movement based on unconditional love, spirit are saying as well. With this as well, children are really being brought into my energy. So if you guys want kids, there is potential over here. Um, also, spirit are saying with that, there is marriage. They just show me a clairvoyant of the four of wands. So there is marriage as well if you guys want to progress it down that route. If some of you have been stuttering with the idea of marriage with your person, it looks like it is going to be happening in 2021. And that's a direct message. You know who that is for. OK, so progression routes moving forward, energies merging, really positive stuff, just getting you through the roadblocks. And once those roadblocks and the ice has melted, um, you are on the right path. Just got country road. They keep talking about roads uh, with you guys. Country road, take me home. You and your person are hitting that country road and you're going to be heading in the right direction for this connection getting over the roadblocks, letting the ice melt. But 2021 is looking like a really positive year 
for you and your person. Keep focusing on yourself. Keep standing in this higher vibrational divine uh, priestess energy. The high priestess, you are magical. You are, um, you know, otherworldly. You're not from here. So you've got the power and the abilities to bring this to your, um, to your reality. And don't forget that. Don't forget that. Okay, guys, and that is deck number one. So have an absolutely phenomenal, uh, where are we? Have a phenomenal new year. Have a great night tonight. Uh, don't drink too much, like I intend to do. Don't drink too much. Um, have a great time. Look after yourselves, and I will speak to you in the new year. Lots of love, guys. Bye. Okay, guys, deck number two. So working on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Uh, think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, and or possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of deck number two. And the most probable outcome for everyone watching in 2021 with them and their person. So the first thing that's coming through my right ear is a very divinely beautiful message. And that is the hymn, Make Me a Channel of Your Peace, that is coming forward. And um, that if you are struggling at this moment in time, that you are being guided and you are being blessed by those watching over you. Um, also very strong link with your ancestors in deck number two. Really bringing that ancestral energy forward and an angelic presence as well, Spirit are saying. So what is going to happen with deck number twos and their people in 2021? What's going to happen? Okay. So I just heard, um, so I cut you off, I don't need your love because I've already cried enough. So it's likely that you guys might have cut your person off at this moment in time. Now it's really interesting, that's Dua Lipa, I-D-G-A-F. Um, it is really interesting with that song, that is when that person comes back towards you. So if you guys are not in contact, have a listen to that song. Five, six, I'm going to get nine. Seven, slip. Seven. So if you and your person are not in contact with that IDGAF song coming up, it looks like your person is going to be getting back in touch with you in the not too distant future. But it's going to be down to you guys about what it is that you want. If you are in touch, it's kind of the same energy, really. Um, if you are in touch with your person, your person is going to start making a bit more of an effort towards you and you have to decide whether this is something that you want. So we have quite a lot of positive cards coming over here. Ace of Wands, Sun, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups. We have, oh, and the Star as well. There is a lot of prospects within this connection with you and your person as 2021 is progressing. Now I'm going to start off with the sun and the star. These are the two that are really drawing me forwards. Both very, um, obviously, earth, air, energy, universe, energy, very strong connection between you both, a very divine connection. And we have a reconnection between you both happening here, very much like ET phone home. OK, so wanting to reestablish your connection between you guys, if you are not in contact or if it has gone a little bit peak tongue, there is a reestablishing of your connection in 2021. Even if you are, it's still in contact. It is still that establishment. We have the masculine energy coming forward over here. And with that as well, we have the moon. So if you want to look at the astrology and the, the energy that comes from this, you have the moon, the sun, the stars. OK, really strong connection, really strong, positive energy, female energy, masculine energy intuition um, and happy outcomes coming forward you know really progressing in the right direction you guys are kind of breathing in the energy of the connection you're going with the flow of it and it's lovely that you two look like you're going to be meeting in the middle so their energy your energy meeting in the middle re-establishing the connection between the two of you and this is where this celebration comes forward OK, happy outcomes. Now, I know all your individual circumstances are very different and sometimes, you know, perhaps there are other people involved or third party being alcohol and drugs or anything along those lines. Any any outside influence impacting your connection. 
can even be family but even with that there is still this reconnection of you both and it looks like you're going to be going through a happier time now with that being said as well it's really really important that you guys know that you are the one that is going to be in control of this and that is why that songs come forward really strongly so you guys are going to be the one that decides if this is what you want you're feeling going to be feeling a lot more balanced over the connection you're going to feel a lot more self-assured within yourself your energy of communication and your heart-centered emotions you're going to be communicating those as well to your person but it's down to you on whether this is something that you want and if it is there is really strong progression really really strong progression all the shit that's happened in 2020 looks like it's going to be coming to a close and you cut off all the past so you're going to be cutting off the past breaking out of these cycles that you guys have been involved in feeling like you've been going around spinning in a bit of a circle there is a breakage of that cycle and um Sometimes when I, I get the wheel, I always hear Khaleesi about breaking the wheel. You guys are going to break that chain, break this cycle that you have been involved in and heading towards a better, brighter future. Now, with that being said, it looks like there has been some towers happening around you guys. Uh, Spirit just showed me a clairvoyant image of the tower um, and the Three of Swords. So you guys might have been going through a bit of a difficult time recently. Um but you are going to come through that you are going to come through these darker energies and again that re-establishing of the connection is there but it's down to you guys if that is something that you are going to want when the time comes so really think about you think about yourself and what it is that you want your best bet with this is kind of just going with the flow of it you have a lot of prospects with you and your person there's a lot of energy coming up over here that you guys can make it work um, all the ghosts from the past being left behind, new beginnings, a lot more grounded, a lot more stable, a lot more secure. In the past, it was kind of very floaty, very fiery energy, whereas now there is this, this sense of grounding between you both that you're feeling much more established with this. You're both going to be feeling more balanced. Your energies are aligning with one another. Um, and you are actually, it's you that's going to be stepping into this King of Swords energy. You are the ones that are in control and it keeps coming forward. You are the ones that are going to be in control. You are the one that is going to be calling the shots on this. So your person has to toe the line or get gone, really. That is where you are. As 2021 hits, you're going to be like, right, you either come with me or you go. Um, and you're not going to, you, you're going to be in such a powerful position that you feel that strength within you rising. And a lot of the time, you're not even going to realise perhaps that that is the way you are handling it. But it's going to make your person want you more because they're going to see you in this very powerful position. And through that powerful position, your energies really do align with each other. Um, what you want will come down to it when it is your case, your your chance. Your person's going to say that they've been, they're probably going to bring up stuff from their past where they've had trauma or difficult times, um, perhaps even going back to teenagers or ex-wives or, you know, any kind of difficulty that they've had. They're going to blame that on their actions for 2020, how they handled the situation. They're going to say, oh, well, you know, this happened in whatever year and blah, blah, blah. Um, really, it's all a, a bit of a mask because your person lacks self-confidence and um, so going with the flow of it is going to be your best bet over here you know uh, I said in debt one try not to control the situation but you guys really aren't you kind of going with the flow of it and that is better because the more you go with the flow of it the more the universe can navigate around you and can bring you what you want again a lot more grounded energy happening with you guys we have the um we have the infinity kind of symbol happening here. I don't know if you can see. And you know, I talked to you about the helixes. You guys and your helix energy, you and your person's energies will keep merging with each other. We also have the bunny at the bottom symbolizing fertility. Okay, so lots of chances for this to, to be progressing. Uh, spring looking like a good season for this to happen. And spirit are just saying May Day to me as well. So May Day also very important month for you uh, so as 2021 happens you guys are breaking the cycle you're standing in this very energetic powerful position with you and your person and your energy is massively massively reconnecting really really reconnecting breaking cycles breaking chains um, communicating about emotions trusting your own intuition feeling your power and this is leading to your celebration what it is that you want from the connection gonna come down to you lot watching you are the ones that are in control you are the ones that are calling your shots and as we said the person is either going to toe the line or get gone um, just ahead limp biscuit my way or the highway so you are in that power position and that is going to bring you what you want
when you want it and if you don't want your person you're probably gonna you know say all right you know out the way but you still have this helix energy you know you're, they're probably still well they will still keep coming back but you are the ones that are in control okay so remember that you've done really well to work to be where you are today you should be super proud of yourself it's 2021 it's down to you okay guys and that is deck number two so have an absolutely phenomenal new year's eve tonight uh, look after yourselves look after one another and um, stay safe in these very difficult times let's hoping for a better 2021 uh, thank you all once again for your love and support and um, for everything that you've done for me over the last couple of years i'm sending tons of love to you all look after yourself and well done to the winner of the mystical dream tarot i'll do some more competitions this year i really feel like i want to do some more of that for you guys um okay take care and i will speak to you soon goddess blessings